What is up guys, Technicals here. So today we're taking a look again at our silencer box because now it's getting into the 80s during the day. It's late April and they're starting to get loud. Now the silencer box is having a great effect and I appreciate all the comments that I've been getting on things I should do uh, to make it more better. Uh, in particular, the person who mentioned what material isolates high frequency sound waves which is what's emanating from the ASIC miners. I had no idea. I thought sound was sound and sound absorbing materials absorb sound and that's it. But as it turns out, I didn't go to material science school for acoustics. So my aim is to refresh this project with the same rules. In there it goes. With the same rules in place, I wanna keep it modular. I wanna uh, encompass the entire top row so I can get all the ASICs. And that way, if I add more ASICs, then the solution I build will just automatically uh, take care of that. Now, my original idea was to use Danger Dolly here, which is on casters, uh, to build the silencer box within it, but Danger Dolly's a little thin, she's a little short, and I keep all my shit on her, so. And she also wheels inside the shed pretty nice. So, I need some other type of thing that rolls, that moves around, that I don't really use at all, that is just kind of taking up space that kind of is the same dimensions of the picture window so I, that I can build it within. I just, I just, just racking my brain. I don't know what I could possibly use. This stupid thing, this stupid thing out of the way. I don't know what I could possibly use to put there that I can just build on. And that way, if I screw it up, it's not a big deal because I don't really use it anyway. And it was a terrible purchase because walking around on it is kind of dangerous and it's narrow and why would anyone use such a thing to like for for whatever purpose it's built this stupid thing get out of the way i want to keep bumping into that thing so indeed i'm going to be using this here paint rack i bought this when i was doing work on my ceiling in my house but i don't know why anyone would buy one of these things they're so narrow and when you're standing up on the top ledge it's like uh you're taking your life into your hands the top rung here comes pretty close to where the ledge is for the side. as a bonus if i screw this up or it just com completely becomes stupid um, I don't care about this thing. I was going to throw it away anyway. Earlier, someone mentioned using uh, BASF Basitech 7 centimeter thickness open cell melamine based foam as my sound absorbing material. But oddly enough, if you can believe it, they do not sell BASF Basitech 7 centimeter thickness open cell melamine based foam at Lowe's. Crazy, right? But I did research a little bit. Ant miners ASICs put out high frequency. Polyurethane based foams seem to perform somewhat good at absorbing that sound. So I found this here mattress topper at good old Walmart, the first time in a Walmart in a long time, and it is polyurethane based foam. And then for the framework, the structure, the foundation, I've got a whole shitload of these steel grates that came out of uh, storage shelving. And on top of that, between this and the foam, I've got another material that I thought was pretty smart, and that material are ceiling tiles. Because I had some of these left over, I've got more than this, uh, but these are actually referred to as acoustical tiles because these little bits and dimples are meant to uh, sort of absorb, affray, reduce sound. Completely forgot I had the extra shelf from when I built the shed, the rack that's in there. So this wire shelf, six long, which is the exact dimensions of that, and a couple more of these uh, shelf brackets. I'm really lucky on that one. All right, somewhat coming to life. So I've got these uh, vertical struts from the shelving, this uh, shelf rest from the other type of shelf. Bad job YouTubing, already built quite a lot of it. So I went ahead and put this uh, mattress topper, this poly, uh, polyurethane based mattress topper on this piece of a siding, like a sheathing board. All right, again, bad job YouTubing, but box is certainly coming along. This is a floating, again, panel board with the polystyrene foam on it. Polyester, or uh, yeah, poly, or polyurethane poly something the acoustical panels here lining the box you can just tell my voice gets completely absorbed when i stick my head in here it's amazing uh so i had it on there last night it was a relatively cool night 
And when I walked in, I thought there was something wrong with the miners because it was so quiet. So I'm gonna finish it out today because it's gonna be 90 degrees today. The miners are gonna be, they're gonna be barking. So I wanna fill this in and get it on there to do my test because 90 degree day, that's gonna be pretty close to what I'm gonna to top out at during the summer. All right, beloved, I think that's about as good as we're gonna get it. So we're able to fill in this top gap here with this extra sponge. We had to kind of zip tie these on the end. I just wanted to fill every gap I possibly could. This piece of uh, pipe insulation here again to just fill the gap. And so let's slide it in. All right, it's hot outside and miners are at max loud currently. About five feet away. So hugely quieter. I mean, just me talking is triggering it up to over 80. It looks like shit. I mean, I think it looks fucking terrible, uh, but we can correct for that. And when wintertime rolls around, we just dolly it away and we have our heater back. So I'm gonna count this as a super success. Screw this thing. This thing sucks. Who made this? I didn't make that, uh, but yeah, this is great. So found a secondary use for my little paint rolly rack thing appreciate you guys tuning in for episode two of uh the silencer dealy um not sure i'll need to any make any modifications to it because i don't know that it can get much quieter than that um you know without sort of you know really expanding like the the, the cost and the effort's going to go exponential you know to kind of get this thing any quieter than it is and from outside you can't you can hear it more through the intake fans than you can through the ambient building so I count it as a win. If you like videos like this where I build things, let me know in the comments below. If you prefer, I sit at my desk and talk about coins uh, for 8 to 11 minutes every other day. Also, let me know in the comments below. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Appreciate you subscribing. I'm the Technicals. See you next time.